Alrighty, so today I wanted to mess around with Zanari a little bit because she got a holy relic in the in the festival update, which is increases basic stats of human allies by two percent up to twenty percent for each debuff removed from the allies within or with the hero's skill use. So she has a cleanse on level one, heal on level two and three. Uh, when debuffs are removed from an ally, they are healed by, uh, for four, five percent of their max HP for each one that was removed. So, could be kind of interesting. I wanted to test Arthur going second, which is <laughs> kind of a weird, weird one. Um, but, obviously, you know, not everybody's going to be able to out-CC in the game. You know, there's a lot of people who don't, you know, either have to wait to buy Arthur's outfits and stuff like that, or, you know, just don't have the resources to invest into him, which is completely understandable. You know, there, it takes a lot nowadays. So we're going to be throwing Jillian in the back. We're running a full mono green team, so that way we can really take advantage of the extra HP and everything. Evasion food is on the menu, so that way hopefully we can take a hit. I think my biggest problem is going to be if they end up killing Zaneri turn one. And that could be very likely, considering she is a seasonal character that I have not really invested into all that much, because normally she is a PvE-based character. Uh, it is nice that her Holy Relic does, you know, uh, you can actually use it in, uh, in all game modes, which is cool, but we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, I think I might have to... Ooh, level two as well. All right, there she goes. I think I might have to end up putting Tarmia Link on her instead, which might not be the worst thing in the world. Um, ooh, he's running Zeldris Link, actually, which is kind of interesting. Luckily, I think I'm still in a decent spot here. Because I'm going to gain an extra ultimate move gauge from from the blast card. So, boom. Decent little chunk of damage. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I did merge. I, w I wasn't actually going to have Arthur's passive there. But we may be able to pull this off. I think I'm... I, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to end up moving the... Uh, the Tarmiel link over to Zaneri if I want her to survive turn one, which Escanor's dead here. So that's also going to put me in a bit of a bind, only being able to use two cards. Luckily, this isn't going to kill um, Jillian. So I do have two cards that I can use. Uh, I guess we just go for the kill on Melly, because I don't know. I don't think think we're gonna have to deal too like I, I don't know um bond could be a little bit of an issue of course but we'll see how it goes so there's melee down that's his like big damage dealer escanor in the back which is fine i think i go for bond second even though he's pushing for ultimate here uh okay that didn't do a lot of damage i think that the flood card could still end up working out kind of nicely here biggest problem being her ultimate. I'm not sure what level ultimate she has. I'll have to check that because that could be a very big factor here. Which she disables herself anyway, so it might actually not even be a problem. Uh, four six on the ultimate. I think I'm okay to kill Bon in this scenario. Jillian is clogging the hand up quite a bit here. Okay, that actually ended up being my saving grace actually. So. Okay, surprising. I think that actually kind of worked out somewhat nicely. We didn't really get to use Jillian, uh, uh Jillian, Zaneri basically at all. But uh, let me swap the Tarmio link over. That might be a little risky considering we're going second, but they're not really going to be targeting Arthur turn one. So uh, let me fix that. We're going to hop back in. If you're new to the channel or anything, feel free to subscribe, of course. If you have any team suggestions or anything you want me to use, by all means, feel free. And uh, yeah, I uh, let's, let's do this. All right, really quick load in here. The good thing about this meta is that Bon is pretty much on every team except for the demon team, which means that there's a lot of debuffs that we can actually cleanse off, which will help Zanari out quite a bit. Um, I think the problem here is going to be trying to get through the Arthur. So he's actually going for Escanor first, which I don't know that is, it's going to be like the biggest issue in the world. One crit is not bad at all for us. Um, hmm. So we only have two debuffs on everybody, unfortunately. Would have been nice if we had more than that, but I think we just kind of have to take advantage of it while we can. 
Um, and then we'll just do this. I would love to just get Arthur or uh, Escanor's holy uh, holy relic uh, ultimate. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I've not. <laughs> I'm sure you may have noticed if you're like a normal viewer of the channel. I have not really been playing all that much. Normally on festivals, I tend to upload twice twice a day because it's all like new and exciting. Unfortunately, with Arthur, he's very specific to the human team, so. I'm a little bit more locked down into using something a little bit more specific, and there's really not that many good humans that I can really use. Like, it, it's there's like six good humans that I can kind of mess around with. So, ends up being like a, a little bit of a weird situation. So, I do have my taunt here. Uh, he's disabled, which is kind of nice. I almost want to just go all in with this. I cleanse off the... The Infect, which is kind of good. I think I kill. Yeah, I think I kill. Unfortunately, his teammates are very strong. Hopefully, this life steals at least a decent amount, and I still have the taunt on Arthur. So now I have ultimate in hand. I think he's going to be able to get through pretty easily. I think the only issue I'm having here is that because I only had two debuffs on everybody on the first turn, uh, and I didn't draw another cleanse from Zaneri... I'm not really getting the greatest use out of her her holy relic. Uh, Melly in the back, kind of crazy. He does have really high CC though. Okay, no kill there because no crit. That's great. Um, I'm not marked. Okay, dude, we're kind of chilling. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I keep saying okay. Okay, here's that, dude. We, I guess he just had really bad cards in hand. Actually. Actually insane that we, we just beat that guy. He had really good CC, too. Okay. I'm kind of digging it. Let's go again. Alrighty, what do we got here? Another another melee team. Another Sins team. Good CC. Real player. Does have Bond. He's actually running the perfect scenario here. If he doesn't kill Zaneri, I'll have a ton of stats to debuff off. Which means that I'm going to get a lot of... Ba or like I should hopefully be able to max out my basic stats from her Holy Relic. Which could be really, really nice. We got a turn 1 merge as well. So that's really good. I might even be able to just push Arthur's ult here on turn two. So this gets evaded, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, he's going for triple AoE. Melee can do a lot of damage, but it's a level one. I think we live. We do. Okay, we're kind of chilling. Only problem I have is that I don't have Tarmia Link on Arthur now, which does kind of suck. But I think we'll be okay. I think I'm just going to move it again. He doesn't have a, a commandment on to really stop me, which is good. Um, we do heal up from the, the Holy Relic as well, which is really nice. Because normally, you know, having a level 1 cleanse that doesn't heal kind of sucks. But the fact that we got rid of so many debuffs there and it gives us 5% H max HP back uh, is actually a good heal. It's actually not bad, considering this is like perfect scenario where every time he attacks me, Merlin puts debuffs on and Bond puts debuffs on. I'm kind of chilling here. Okay, uh, do I have her Holy Relic maxed out is the question. Let me inspect, please. Uh, we do. Okay, wrong way. Arthur has, okay, not the craziest stats. He does have a lot of HP. We can cleanse those off again. Not that it's really necessary, but we can do something like this. And I assume that'll be a wipe. I'm not 100% positive on that, considering I have a 1-6 ultimate, but... Ooh, Flood card still going crazy. There's no way this doesn't kill, I don't think. Yeah, 882. Okay. Hey man, we're kinda we're kinda chilling. I do also kinda like that she prevents ultimate move gauge from filling up. We could maybe use that to her advantage. The only problem is, is I think that's gonna be more beneficial if we're going first. You know what I mean? Because if we go first, we could like lock somebody's ultimate move gauge. Uh, and then they won't be able to use that character to gain ults for Arthur's passive, but more often than not, I don't think that that's actually going to be the the greatest you know thing there. Um, we can actually give ourselves more HP related from this ultimate, and this actually might do much better damage. We can't debuff him, unfortunately, so I think we just go in with the Arthur cards. So here's this. It actually puts a little bit of a shield on us. Not that it's really going to matter because it's not going to block skill effects or anything. Um, uh, but, 
232. Not bad at all. Honestly, pretty good. And we're fighting real players and stuff, so this is uh, actually kind of working. I'm, like, I'm not super confident in it, but I mean, you can't argue with results, I guess. Okay, Demon Team here with Monspeed on the field. Doesn't matter because uh, Demon King is blocking the commandments. So that is kind of good for me. Um, the Holy Relic is actually going to put a lot of debuffs on, which is good too. Does he have... I assume his uh, yeah, his Demon King has Tarmio Link. I can actually push my ultimate here, turn one, which is really good. He's running Evasion Food. I... I just, just realized I am going first, which is kind of surprising. Um, so we have ult in hand. He's not going to be able to debuff. Actually, that actually kind of sucks for us a little bit, because not being able to debuff him means less cleanse for us. But he's more than likely going to... Uh, this is actually going to get evaded, though, if he uses the infect first. But it's going to put on the seeds for Melly. Luckily, he's not using Red Monspeed, because Red Monspeed actually does have an AoE card. So that would be, uh, like, a triple AoE setup for him. Okay, fair enough. Honestly, like, I'm kind of surprised I went first there, but hey, it worked out for us. Alright, another Demon Team here with the Esterosa setup. Very typical. Does go first. Only problem now is that uh, he's not going to have that many debuffs for me to cleanse, which kind of sucks. Plus, I'm going to evade this. So, Zaneri in this instance is pretty useless which really sucks um mm, i mean i can use her as my ult gauge unit i guess which is somewhat nice so we can go for this i don't know that it's worth getting her ultimate but it does give us some hp related i'm just gonna do it anyway even though it would more than likely be better to just try to get some damage off on his team here uh before i have to worry about like him popping stats and stuff like that so he went first which means that he's actually not going to get his stats on this turn it should be the next turn so i, I do still have a little bit of leeway here uh, he's really trying to kill the Zanari off, which honestly is not that bad. So, because I'm not going to be able to cleanse off debuffs from her and everything, I'm kind of chilling here. I don't have Tarmiel Link on him though, so that is a bit unfortunate. What are we? What are we going to do here? Um, I think we go for this into. I don't know that this is going to kill, unfortunately. I think I just try to guarantee it with Arthur. Okay, that's definitely half. Kill. We're not putting on debuffs for the melee either with this team, which is really, really nice. So there is that. He did merge a little bit and cleansed off one debuff. So he now has two orbs. He's one away from ult. I could get... I think I'm still kind of chilling though, because I've got Taunt, I've got good stacks on. Um, actually, I don't have ult control though, so I don't know that I'm actually chilling here. Mm, he gets a, a decent amount of gets a decent amount of HP back. We're gonna throw a bunch of ignites on him. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're big chilling here, because he obviously had Tarmiel Link on his. Uh, on his Demon King, so boom, there's that. Easy peasy. Now he has no way to kill me. I have ultimate in hand, I have a taunt on, I'm kinda chilling. So, Demon Team is definitely the worst for Zanari comp, which is unfortunate because it, like, I think this is gonna be the best team going second. I could be wrong. Like, you could still probably get some decent, decent use out of some other characters. Like, for example, if you're using Yuri for, like, the basic stat increase and stuff, and she gives you, like, damage resistance, or not damage resistance, um, crit resist and crit defense from her Holy Relic, I think it is. So that'll help you tank a little bit more as well. But I'm actually not hating on it. I think this is actually a pretty good comp. I mean, you know, Zanari being a seasonal unit is not great because she's a little bit less accessible. Um... I do luckily have mine five six. She's a year one seasonal character. She was the the year one Valentine's Day unit, or, or there was a couple of them, but she's one of them. And so she's been around for quite a long time. Okay, he goes first, of course, which is normal. Uh, his CC's not all that crazy, so I'm not actually sure if this is a bot or not. I assume it is a bot, 
No. I think it's a real player, because even... Even with me without CC food in my normal team, I think I'm like 225 or something like that. Okay, so this is terrible. <laughs> this is real bad, actually. Um... Hmm. Yeah, actually pretty bad. If I... Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. I'm tempted to just go ahead and use this, but... Because I think Arthur's going to die, so I might as well get some use out of it. Might be the wrong play here. Decent little bit of damage there, but nothing crazy, of course. He's going to cleanse off uh, his because he actually gets his taunt here. And then he he's clear to hit me with all of his Arthur stuff, so... Uh, there's the Infect. This thing is going to crit very easily, I think. I think. Okay, yeah, 400k. There's no stopping that. And then Escanor... Not really going to be able to cut it, I don't think. Kills off my Zaneri instead. Okay. Problem being, though, is that Arthur is... Uh, Arthur is too tough to kill here. Um... I can still get my ultimate here, but killing Arthur is pretty much going to be impossible. So, I mean, not impossible, of course. That, like, that was good damage, don't get me wrong. I just don't think he's going to be able to take three attacks here. I do have debuff immunity. Two Arthur attacks, though, is rough. Boom. Yeah. No Tarmia link or anything, so it's not really much I can do. So, that's definitely the downside is that when you run up against another Arthur team, um, depending on... Okay. Depending on if they can get their, like, ultimates and stuff like that, turn one is is a big factor. Like, the fact that... Like, I'm not... I don't actually see that many people running LR Escanor, but... Actually, I kind of want to throw one more, one more game in. Um, so, more than likely, they're not... If they're going first, they're not going to be able to get an ultimate turn one. Because most of the time they're not running LR Escanor. He's the only character on the team that has like a... If you use this card at level 2, you get an extra ultimate move gauge kind of skill. So that is not necessarily like a big issue. But, um, you know, once he gets once he gets his... Um, if, they're, if they are running Escanor... Sorry, I'm all over the place. If they are running Escanor and he gets his ultimate turn 1... You're not going to be able to put your taunt on. They're going to be able to kill you before you do. You're not going to be able to get use out of Arthur, and it's going to be a terrible time. Of course, I fight the same dude. Um, we'll see. He, I doubt he gets the same hand. He actually pulls an extra card with Bon here instead. So we'll see how it goes. Um, okay. Kind of weird you would throw that out knowing you just went up against me. You, you know I have evasion and food on. That sucks. The crit there is unfortunate. Luckily, he's not going to be able to kill me. Ooh, okay. Close, though. So, okay. Tables are turned. Doesn't have his ult. Unfortunately, I can't get my ult, which does st uh, suck a bit, but... Um... I think we just hit Arthur a little bit. I don't really know. Maybe it would have been better to hit Escanor here. Ooh, that was actually good damage. The problem is, is I think Arthur's just going to get his HP back. Luckily, the cleanse there was good. It ended up getting rid of, or like healing me up quite a bit here. The Flood card is probably going to do pretty well, though. He has a level 2 Arthur card at the very least here. Okay, the basic stats actually kind of coming in there. Uh, that's a that's quite a bit of damage. That kills me. Oh <gasps> no way! The actual gasp. <laughs> um. Hmm. I don't know if these are gonna kill Arthur though. Like, I don't think a level 1 is going to kill Escanor, unfortunately. Hmm. I don't know that it would have, but hey, Escanor took a lot of damage from that. I wasn't 
factoring that in for some reason. Oh, it actually... I'm dumb. <laughs> we're just... Okay, we're kind of steamrolling. I should have laughed in his face, man. Alright, hey, I'm not hating on it. I actually think this was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, obviously, I do have a pretty decent account. Like, I'm not a free-to-play by any stretch of the imagination. My CC's okay. You did see me go first uh, against one of the demon teams because he was running evasion food. Uh, and I think I out CC'd a bot as well at some point. Maybe I was wrong on that. I can't remember exactly. I'm very short-term memory. Uh, but either way, Zanari's basic stats actually were kind of sick there like we we barely squeaked out the survive on the on the arthur and it went kind of hard so i gotta say i'm i'm actually really impressed i didn't think that zanary was actually going to be a decent unit to use but hey she kind of proved me wrong here so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh i actually kind of had a, a good amount of fun with this one so uh yeah i don't know i might mess around with her a little bit more since she got a holy relic i think that she could be a little bit better in like belmoth and stuff like that and i think people have been using her a little bit in dk as well so that could be also kind of interesting to mess around with but um yeah honestly i'm kind of impressed so thank you guys so much i hope you guys have a great day i will see you guys tomorrow for some more videos and uh yeah see you then